Hey there, have you ever wondered why some people's coffee tastes better than others despite the same coffee bean being used? Well, in today's video, we are going to talk about how to avoid the most common coffee brewing mistakes to make sure that every coffee you make tastes great. While watching today's video, make sure to check out the full article in the description below where we share with you the detailed charts and tables mentioned. These charts and tables are definitely going to give your coffee drinking experience a major upgrade. Firstly, a great cup of coffee starts with the right grind. Using the proper grind is the most overlooked variable in brewing. So we're going to show you how to achieve the right coffee grind every time. Not only that, we're going to give you the easy to use charts as well. One of the key things to remember is that your coffee grind directly impacts coffee extraction. Likewise, coffee extraction directly impacts flavor. A finer grind will allow water to extract more compounds out of the ground in the same amount of brewing time. A coarser grind will result in fewer compounds being extracted from the grounds in the same amount of brewing time. This is because grinding your coffee finer increases the ratio of surface area to coffee grounds, giving the water easier access to the coffee. The next key variable is understanding coffee extraction and how it affects flavor. Avoiding both over extraction and under extraction is vital. Under extracted coffee is sour and over extracted coffee is bitter. If your coffee tastes bad and you suspect a poor extraction, you need to figure out how to adjust your extraction to balance out the flavor appropriately. We've made a simple visual for you to refer to on how to control flavor through coffee extraction and grind. Check it out, the link is in the description below. Now, another commonly mentioned way of thinking about under extracted or over extracted coffee is by the word hollow, meaning a cup is missing the enjoyable flavors that it should have, but it's missing them. This is because those compounds have not been extracted from the grounds themselves, or because other compounds are covering up the flavor. When it comes to grind size, it's important to use the right grind size for the right brewing method. Extra coarse grind is generally considered to be the size of ground peppercorns and is perfect for cold brew coffee. Coarser grinds are perfect for longer cold brewing times such as 12 hours plus. A shorter cold brew time means a finer grind can be used, but generally coarser than medium grind is recommended. Additionally, a coarse grind should resemble sea salt and suits percolator and French press coffee brewing methods. Pour overs are best suited to medium coarse and medium ground coffees. Medium coarse grind is comparable to rough sand and suits Chemex pour over brewing devices. Medium ground coffee resembles regular sand consistency and is best suited for most other pour over brewers and flat bottom trip coffee machines. With pour over, you may have to play around with grind size to dial in your grind. However, as always, Start with whatever the manufacturer suggests and adjust from there to suit your preference. When it comes to finer grinds, a medium fine grind is most similar to coarse table salt. Fine grind is the same as salt and extra fine is most like a fine powder or flour. Medium fine should be used with cone shaped drip coffee brewers. Fine grind suits espresso or mocha pots and extra fine is best for Turkish coffee. Common espresso machines require fine grinds as they use pressure measured in bars to brew by exposing grinds forcefully to hot water. If your grinds are excessively coarse, the pressurized water will flow through the grounds too quickly, under extracting the espresso. On the other hand, too fine of a grind will prevent the water from flowing effectively through the espresso. The proper fine grind setting for espresso machines should regulate the pressurized water flow at the appropriate level. When it comes to choosing a coffee grinder, there are a few things you'll want to look for as well as avoid. Firstly, avoid blade grinders. We'd recommend a burr grinder over a blade grinder simply because consistency is vital for great tasting coffee. Cutting beans with a blade grinder produces variations in the size of the grounds. Some of the smaller grounds then are going to be over extracted, while some of the larger grounds will be under extracted. The result is getting the worst of both worlds, a mix of sour and bitter coffee. On the other hand, a burr grinder crushes beans to create consistency since it uses uniform rotation and pressure. As a result, you'll be able to maintain a uniform grind that is consistent and precise. A good grinder is even more important when it comes to brewing great espresso coffee. For espresso brewing, it is essential that your grinds are consistent and uniform. One last thing we often get asked, is it okay to grind all beans at once and then store the grounds? Well, this is an easy no. Coffee grinds lose some of their freshness even within a day. For optimal freshness, not only should your coffee beans be ground every day, but you'll get the best flavor if you grind right before brewing. Remember, grinding releases tons of aromas that you don't just smell, you also taste. That about wraps up today's video, guys. 
Don't forget to check out our grinder recommendations, our grind settings chart for each brewing method, and our recommended coffee grind chart all on our website within the full article. Also, if you found this video helpful, just hit the like and subscribe buttons and we'll see you next time.